Fall weather is certainly here and that means family fun. Let's begin, shall we? Pumpkin patch time, corn, mazes, and even a petting zoo. Our Justin Beasley shows us where you can do it all in a safe and fun way. The popular Gentry's Farm in Franklin is celebrating 30 years of fall family fun today as they open their farm for the first time this season. Now, normally this place is absolutely packed. However, that will not be the case this season as the fall family experience will look a little bit different. Are limiting the number of people that can come in so it, we are only doing pre-sale tickets this year which is a new it's new for us but uh, to be honest it's going very well and we have enjoyed um, just seeing who who really wants to come out to the farm we are not doing hay rides for instance we just decided that was one thing that uh, just couldn't quite control the the social distancing and that type of thing trying to keep the hands-on activities to a minimum but even with a modified activity area Gentry's farm is giving families a different different way to enjoy their visit. We laughed and said it's a more visual year this year. We wanted people to be able to see things that would bring them pleasure, bring them happiness. We have lots of little signs and encouraging signs sitting around. To begin, Gentry's Farm is opening at just 20% capacity with the hope to increase over time. We're just waiting to see how it looks, um, see how the you know crowds are spread out and if they are social distancing well and we feel comfortable that everyone's safe and having a good experience. And even with a different looking fall ahead, Thursday's opening was exactly what the Gentries and their loyal visitors had hoped for. Some of the young moms that are here just saying, this is wonderful, thank you for being open, thank you for being here today. This just brings back some, you know, a piece of normalcy, as you said, just we feel like maybe we're seeing a glimpse of hope for the future. As long as we get good feedback, we may go up on those numbers. In Franklin, I'm Justin Beasley, News 4 Nashville. 